First, what is your main message today to students considering Lafayette College? Well, I think I'm going to sort of um, you know, travel in the area of the chaos theory, which is um, any decision you make at this stage, given the fact you're in a group of students who have been selected by Lafayette and several other schools, is going to be a good decision. That there's no, we know so little, and you at your stage of life, their stage of life, know so little about what their choices are going to be, how they're going to react to the world, that given this range of great choices, wherever they go is going to be fine. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the advantages of a small school like Lafayette, but I think these are, these are people who are really in a great position where wherever they go is going to be a good decision. I want them to relax and I want them to appreciate the fact that we now have research showing that the character traits that these students developed before they even had an SAT test are the ones that are going to guarantee their success. And the fact that they've reached this stage, selected by some great colleges, means that they've got all the internal um, strengths that they need to have a great success. They just have to relax and, and be good about looking for where their strengths are and what will make them happy. In 2005, you wrote Harvard Schmarvard, Getting Beyond the Ivy League to the College That's Best for You. Why did you write it, and what impact do you think it had on college selection? It was clear to me that uh, getting into a prestigious school that your grandmother had heard of would make no difference in your life. That what really would make the difference is, as I said, the character traits you developed long before you got to college. And so I wanted people to relax and realize that getting into those big name, brand name schools was not important. What you needed to do was find one of the three or four hundred schools that are just as good as the Ivies that really fit you and what you want to do with your life. And that's the idea of that book was to relax. It's not all about Harvard. It's about finding the right school for you. The first thing I think to, to point out is you have absolutely no, absolutely no idea where you're going. You, um, you have, you think you do, uh, you have this illusion of control over your life which is, you know, completely wrong, but <laughs> it's useful to have because it sort of keeps you sane. But you, as, as, other, as Greg mentioned, you don't know what you want because you have not yet had a chance to make some free choices about where your life is going to go. That starts just about now. If you talk to, um, to adults, they will say that their lives, you know, had a you know, certain course and they saw where they were going. That's nonsense. Um, if you actually talk about it, I mean, you can talk to anybody. I mean, I had a, a one-minute conversation with President Weiss and learned that um, president of this fine, uh, nationally prominent liberal arts college was a psychology major at George Washington University in Washington, and then went off and got an MBA, and then from being, having an MBA became an art history scholar at Johns Hopkins. Now, how did that happen? That's completely uh, unexpected. And that's the way your life is going to proceed. What produces success in life is not where you went to college. It is the character traits that you developed long before you got to that college, long before you even took an SAT uh, test.